Today we have a special guest, Paige, teaching us how to make this drawstring bag. This bag makes cleanup easy for kids' toys, dog toys, or anything else that you can find around the house. So let's get into this fun DIY. The tools and materials that you'll need to make this project are 15 foot of rope, fabric scissors, tape measure, pins or clips, three feet of one to two inch wide webbing, a flexible curve, marking tool, 20 inch metal ruler, one yard each of two fabrics of your choice, and a sewing machine. First thing we're gonna do is cut our fabric circles. We will start by cutting two 30 inch squares and we'll set aside our excess fabric and use it later. Once you have your squares, we are gonna layer them on top of each other and fold them in half twice. We will use our ruler to measure from the corner our radius of 14 inches. Then we will make a mark every few inches out from our radius. Once we have those marks, we will line up our flexible curve and connect our marks to create a line to cut at. Then we'll cut it out. Once you've cut it out, you can set that to the side. We will use some of our leftover fabric and cut two strips that are six inches wide and 41 inches long. These strips will be used to hold our rope to open and close the bag. Since this bag is reversible, you can use either of your two fabrics. If your fabric length can't be 41 inches in one piece, you might have to sew pieces together to equal 41 inches in length. We will then hem the ends of each of our strips by one inch, folding them in so that all of our hems will be on the same side. Now we will place the circle of fabric which we want to be on the outside of your bag on your work surface. We are gonna fold our circle in half twice and mark the center of the circle as well as the center point on each corner. These will be used as reference points. If you have a printed fabric, you'll want the right side facing up. Cut out two strips of webbing that are 18 inches each, and then pin the webbing handles in place equal distance apart on either side of the circle. We'll be placing the two ends of our webbing four inches apart. We will then take one of our fabric strips and pin it around the circle starting two and a half inches out from our middle marking. Make sure to pin down these strips with the hems facing up so that when we sew them over, they'll be hidden. We will pin our second strip around the circle two and a half inches out from the center on the other side of the marking. Both openings should be five inches apart. We've cut our 15 feet of rope in half to create two pieces that are seven and a half feet. Loop each rope around the edges like so. We will fold our fabric strip on top of the rope and pin it down. Once your casting is pinned, take your second fabric and lay it on top and pin in place. If your fabric is printed, make sure the pattern side is facing down. Now we will stitch along the edge with a half inch seam allowance. Don't stitch completely. Leave about five inches at the end because we will use that opening to turn the bag right side out. When you sew over the webbing, you might want to backstitch so that you can more securely attach those handles. Once you have sewn it all together, we will turn the fabric right side out by pulling the fabric through our opening. Lastly, we will add a top stitch. Make sure to fold the openings inward and then continue the top stitch around the edge of the bag. Once you have top stitched, all that is left is to tie a knot on the ends of each rope. And now you have your own drawstring bag. We've linked all the tools and materials that we used in the description below. And make sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all our latest videos.